Japan is prone to earthquakes. In fact, smaller quakes occur frequently. But when they are bigger, they can cause damage to people and buildings, and they become large-scale disasters. Yes, but if we act appropriately, we can keep injuries to a minimum. The biggest worry is that people will panic and will not be able to act appropriately. That's true. First of all, let me give you some information about earthquake safety. This is a smartphone app created under the supervision of the Japan Tourism Agency for Foreign Tourists. Available in multiple languages, it issues earthquake early warnings and provides disaster information on earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, and volcanoes. Evacuation flowcharts and communication cards in the app can be used even when there is no network. The app is available on both Androids and iPhones. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government Disaster Prevention website provides a wide range of information in multiple languages, and you can check refuges and evacuation areas on the disaster prevention map. When an earthquake strikes, lifelines such as transportation, electricity, water and gas, as well as telephone and internet services, may stop temporarily. When tsunami and major tsunami warning announcements are made, there are emergency foreign language broadcasts on NHK TV supplementary audio channels or NHK Radio 2. NHK's international service, NHK World Japan, provides earthquake and tsunami breaking news through its mobile phone app. Stay calm and get as much information as you can. How many of you have experienced earthquakes? Yes, we have experience. Trying simulated earthquakes helps you avoid panic and act properly when a real quake hits. Yeah, that makes sense. Today, we'll visit the Ikebukuro Life Safety Learning Center for simulated quakes. What is the first thing we should do when an earthquake occurs? I wonder. Evacuate? Where? The answer is to protect ourselves. Oh no! How can I protect myself? Dangers in an earthquake are things that are likely to fall, such as glass and lights, and things that are likely to move or fall over, such as shelves. If you feel a tremor, protect your head and stay where nothing can fall on you. If you are in a restaurant, you can protect yourself by getting under the table. In your hotel room, check that the door opens once the tremors have stopped to secure an escape route. The Shindo Earthquake Intensity Scale tells us how strong the earthquake motion is. Let's have a go. This is Shindo 3 intensity. People in a room can feel the ground shaking. This is strong Shindo 5. You wouldn't be able to walk without holding on to something. This is Shindo 7, the strongest earthquake on the scale. This is a reproduction of the Great East Japan earthquake. It may be impossible to be standing. People may be thrown about. How was it? Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, it was a good opportunity. Yeah. I've learned something new. It was good to know it. <laughs>